Remy was born uh, almost to the day of our one year wedding anniversary. As many of you know, she was named very intentionally and deliberately after her mother, Nancy Remy. Remy truly has assumed the best of the original Remy, and that's one of the reasons that I'm so incredibly proud of you, Rems. It's about three and a half hours ago, she became Mrs. Philip Hart. So Rems, this is the new legacy that you inherit, to live up to the standards that Dot Hart established over her life. I can speak for your mother in saying that I think God has selected the exact right person for the job. With all due respect to my parents, they had absolutely no hand in the woman I am today because I was raised by Remy O'Neill Hart. The partnership that Remy and Phil have built that we've all gathered to celebrate inspires me in every way. I thought I had learned all that I could from Remy, but in her marriage to Phil, she had taught me the greatest lesson, the power of sacrifice, the strength of selflessness, and the hope that love can bring. I'm not around, but I'm not gone. I miss the bed you're sleeping on. I'm a thousand miles from coziness. Thousand miles from you. I was at the front of the church today because I'm the best man. You probably thought I was Philip's older brother. Um, as you know, Philip and Remy met at William and Mary. So they graduated and we waited. And we waited. And we waited. But here we are. And I'm so glad that they took their time and, and that we've been able to get to know each other. I want to give a toast and to, just to say that I'm proud of both of you happy to be your dad and so, so excited about your future. So to the married couple, Philip and Remy, all the best. Heard it said when the road is long, all the miles make the heart grow fond. There's a thousand